Hey everyone, my name is Courtney Alma and I'm here to show you all of my cross stitch this week. So my first finish was Anta Oliga Night by Stitching with the Housewives. I stitched this on 28 count even weave with all the classic color works, uh, the call for colors. And I finished it uh, pretty much like how Priscilla did. I was obsessed with the rustic jingle bells and all the colors that she had. I just added a little extra like pom pom trim around it. But I did the picks and the bells and the ribbons so so cute cannot wait and this um will be linked below as well it's it's also on the back of the pattern um what frame that this was as well from hobby lobby so there's my finish i'm so glad she's done i'm excited to have that up in my home for christmas my next finish was a little house needle works abc one two three and I finished this on a like cutting board paddle that I had in my stash. I also use magnets so I can move this for um, Halloween and Christmas so I can reuse. But there she is. I just added um, a little bit of that cr like cream, like tan um, and black plaid fabric cut it up and kind of ruffled it a little bit also added a button down here Just a little detail to it but I enjoyed that piece it's super super cute and I just painted this was um a regular like plain wood paddle I painted this um oh I forgot the color but it's like a whitish gray color and I just distressed a little bit along the edges so there's that finished piece I also finished a good bit of my Halloween pieces for my next floss tube. It's going to be a Halloween episode and I'm excited to show you all the finishes that I had. So I do have a lot that I got done with it. This finish was the 2009 Santa ornament. I got it done. And I stitched this on 28 count tea dyed fabric. Here's that super, super cute love the prairie schooler santas and i'm ready to move on to the next one i also got a lot of um halloween finishing done that i had pieces bats and booze um jolly jack i'm also finishing up i'll show you right now with my whips um broomstick fuel um i got previous uh, finishes that I had I fully FFO'd so I'm excited to show you guys those in my next episode will be like a Halloween episode as we go into October so I'm excited about that all right so my next whip is or my <laughs> okay now we're moving on to whips so this is hands-on design broomstick fuel and I had to change a couple of the colors as I changed the fabric to Golden Blossom 28 Count Lugana. And let's see. And when I did that, I had to change um, some of the colors to kind of go with it more. So I'm finishing up the broom and the little things around it. Super, super cute. So I'll have that done. And I plan to finish it um, like that. I think I might add a little tassel down here at the bottom. It can be a little different. But I do have those ribbons that are used at the top. So fun. I love that piece. And I'm excited for my Halloween episode. I'm excited to show you guys all my stitching then. It's a fun time. And I'm so ready. I don't know if you guys also watch, uh, like Freeform has all of the Halloween movies that come out during this, this whole month. The 31 days of Halloween. It starts tomorrow and I'm so so excited <laughs> I'm so excited to watch all the Halloween movies and it'll make me want to watch stitch even more Halloween stuff 
All right. Next whip is Cross Stitch Nation by Heartstring Samplery Best Twist. This is one of her patterns. Love it so much. I saw um, Anne from the Bobbin Jar stitching this and I died. I wanted to stitch it so bad. So I've been working on it. Um, I'm also stitching this on, I know this is Luminous Fiber Arts fabric. I'm not quite sure the name, but it's a 28 count, um, kind of like a light gray color. I'm not sure on the name though. But I love Misty's fabric. I'll have it linked below as well. I love her fabric, how soft it is and easy to stitch on. But this is how much progress I've gotten done so far. This is so fun to stitch. I wanted to sit and stitch and work on this, but I had to move on and get some Halloween done and get started on Christmas. Soon we'll be in full swing of Christmas stitching. <laughs> okay, so here's that. Let me scoot this off the way. So that's all of the whips I've got done and I went ahead and turned my computer on so I could share some of my haul. That's all the whips that I've gotten done so far besides all of my Halloween pieces that I've worked on and finished. So, like I said, I'm excited for you guys to see that. Okay, okay so now with haul, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the two patterns that I bought earlier. Um, I got the Stitching with the Housewives Trick or Treat. Let's see if I can show you guys without showing you guys the like pattern oh it might be a big glare there's that one um i absolutely love the witch's feet and that's so fun during halloween and trick-or-treat and the trick-or-treat smell my feet so um i'm gonna stitch that if you're not able to really see it on this video it's also obviously with um, Priscilla and Chelsea on Instagram as their blog. So my next one is A Merry Little Christmas by Stitching with the Housewives. I know she came out, they came out with this um, last year and my mom stitched it super, super cute. And I wanted to stitch it, I didn't get around to it last year, but I thought it would be perfect for my piece. Um, the plaid frame that I got from Hobby Lobby that right now says like uh, farm fresh pumpkins and I'm gonna put a magnet piece and put this stitch in over it for Christmas but this is Merry Little Christmas oh I don't know if you can see that I know it's on there all on their socials so you could see it there and their video I know you guys have seen it but um super cute and then I found this 28 count even weave it's faded denim by luminous fiber arts and i think it's gonna look so pretty on that color on the plaid frame as my blue so i'm excited to stitch that soon but my next whip is going to be the trick-or-treat smell my feet <laughs> all right so there's that the next thing that I got was some Happy Mail by Kim. She is so, so sweet. She's my mom's best friend, and she decided to send me a little happy, little cross-stitch goodies. She sent the sweetest card. I love it. And you guys, she sent me the Good Morning Pumpkin that if you've seen Stitching with the Housewives, they've used. They have a pattern for um, Pumpkin Farm as well as Hello Pumpkin that they have um, FFO on this, but I just love how it says good morning pumpkin. That is so cute. <laughs> I want to put it by my coffee pot. So when I make my coffee in the morning. All right. So she also made me this cute little tin for my needles and things. And she sent me the floss ring. Oh, let me see if I can get closer to you. This floss ring with the little charm and the false cards. Oh, love it. I died. I love sunflowers. It's so, so pretty. She's so talented. And then she sent me a little notebook to keep some of my stitching in. These cute little tabs and look, look you guys. Oh, love it. Kim, you are so, so sweet. And I thank you so much for sending me a goodie and supporting my channel and just being the absolute best. So 
so thank you so much. I also got um, some haul from, um, it's called My Crafty Kitchen, which of course you guys, anything that I mentioned with haul and finishes, I have a ton linked below. So you can always find a good bit there. But on Etsy, um, she is My Crafty Kitchen, I believe. And I got the Ray Dunn mug that says, oh my gourd. <laughs> it's so cute. And I love this like mint kind of, I don't know the exact name of this color. You guys, what is the exact name of this color? Please let me know below. But it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Love it. So I got that. As well as, I know it's been a while since I've showed a video and I got this like as soon as I finished my last video. So it's been a while and I should have shown this sooner. <laughs> But I got this bag from uh, Patchwork Crossing, Colleen. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with her bags. I love the quality. I love that she puts a little charm on her zippers that matches with your bag. And I love that most of her bags are lighter in the inside, so I'm able to see, see all of my stuff that's inside of it. And she also includes a floss ring as well for you to put your floss on. So definitely go check her out when she launches bags. These are so good. Such good quality. So I love that. Let's get that over. And I did order um, with Deb Walker. I will link, like I said, link everything below. I will link her like Instagram and her Etsy as well. She has the cutest. Well, it might be in here on this paper. Hold on. Let's see. I can see right here her shop name is creative blessings and this is the eight by eight bag and i got it in this like christmas pattern for my ornaments i have been trying really hard this past year to work on my ornaments for my tree and that is just some like black stars in the inside just a small little bag just put her tiny little ornament thought it was so cute I love the quilting on it. So I'm excited to have that little bag. Um, also, so this isn't stitchy, this is for stickers, but I know a lot of you guys um, love stickers for your planners and things like that. And I wanted to share this adorable company. Her name is Katie and it's KTS Canvases. And um, Katie's Canvases, and I'll obviously, like I said, link it below and she makes so much more she of course she has canvases but she has like wallpaper for your computers uh, stickers keychains pins um car decals like so much she's so talented and just the sweetest she also puts um she has a scripture on her card as well which is just adorable and I love seeing that on, on small businesses. I love to support that. So um, it's Romans 15, uh, three, uh, 13, sorry. And I got her haunted house sticker. Look, it's like haunted house and friends or something. Oh my gosh, look how cute. <gasps> Do you die? Ah, oh, love them. And the little bat, the goats, the goats, <laughs> the ghosts. <laughs> And the little bats, oh, so cute. So, so cute for this time of the year. And then I got her like collection she had of Halloween, all the little minis. You guys, look at that owl and the candy corn and the sweet little ghost. She has some fun. She even has like a series with the gnomes that she does every holiday. And it's so exciting because she's going to be working in the Christmas with them. They're super cute. So you guys go check her out. That's Katie's Canvases. And um, I'll link her Instagram as well below because she posts a lot there as well throughout, throughout her launches for her collection. All right. And also got a gift from my mom. She ordered this from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Oh, I <laughs> love this bag so much for Halloween. And I'm excited to put some of my Halloween pieces in it. I oh, love it. I stitched a Raven's Reply, and this is what's made me think of it too. A Raven's Reply by Luminous Fiber Arts, and oh, loved it. 
Olivia makes such good bags as well. I love her lace detailing that she includes on the bag. As well as, you know, she always just sends a little thank you. She does as well keep her bags lighter in the inside, which I love. She sends a little thank you and a little piece of candy. Super sweet. I get a good bit of her bags as well. You guys, when I was looking back at my videos too, I noticed I didn't even talk to you guys about Needlework Expo. Like, what? I didn't tell you what I bought, any of my plans, what I was excited for, and I hate we kind of missed that. So, um, I would love for you guys to, to comment below uh, what patterns you love from Needlework Expo and what you got and maybe what you already stitched. You might have already stitched something by now. So, my first order from Needlework Expo was from Southern Stitcher Co. And I ordered Plum Street Samplers, the good company. You guys, look at that box. And that house, oh, love it. And I ordered from Plum Street Samplers again. Um, I got the Goodness and Thanks. I noticed I didn't even have that many um, Thanksgiving pieces, so I was excited to snag that one up. And I got the Lori Holt Vintage Trim in Riley Red, and I wanted this. Oops, I wanted this for. Um, like my ornaments and things like that. My next order I got from Needle Case Goodies on Etsy. I ordered, let me put these. I ordered Homespun Elegance, the Santa ornament, flag waving Santa. I love him and his drum and everything. I love the texture too. I have to read on it how to make it like um, the colonial knots and stuff that's on it. I love the texture of the wreath and his beard. So, so cute, I love that. And then I got um, Teresa Kogut's Soul Sisters. I love her. Oh my gosh, their dresses, how cute. And their buns, so adorable. So I have someone I wanna stitch that for. And then I got, also by Teresa Kogut, I got pumpkins and bats. I love it. It says pumpkins and bats on Halloween night with witches and cats give mortals a fright. Oh, I love it. I wish I had time for Halloween to stitch this for this year. But if not, it'll be next year. How cute. Love. And then I got by Frog Cottage Designs. I got the Prim Alphabet Sampler. I thought this one would be pretty to have for like around Valentine's Day. So I went ahead and got it. So maybe I'll have it stitched in time this year for Valentine's Day. Love it. Family, love, trust, and welcome with the alphabet. So cute. And then last, I got the Christmas Ornaments. 2021 edition of Just Cross Stitch Magazine, and I'm so excited. So, you guys, there's so many in there this this year. I like to get these every now and then, not all the time. But let me see if I can find some that I love. And there's a few in here I'm actually going to stitch for some of my family, so I might not show. I want to do this little. I was going to be hard to show you guys without showing the pattern. I want to do that little deer. For Aiden. Love that. Mm. Maybe I should have had these tagged for the pieces that I loved. I don't want to show too much. Look at this robin bird. Oh my gosh, it says the robin's gift. Oh, can you even see that without me showing the pattern? You guys, I can't. I can't show it without. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. We found the page. It is there at the bottom. In the red. Look how pretty. I love these. Like you got, like I said, I've been working on some ornaments this year for my tree, and I'm excited to add some of these to it. And look at this one with the gnomes. Oh, how cute. I'm not a huge fan of the gnome stuff, but I think it's adorable though. But I don't have any 
stitch pieces with gnomes on it. <laughs> or any gnomes. And then look at this one. Look at that bar at the top. Look how cute. Oh, love it. But anyways, so I'm excited to get to working on that when we are full into Christmas stitching. Soon, 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 after I get Halloween done, I'm going straight into Christmas so I can get some pieces done before I put up my tree and deck. So that is all for me today. Um, let me know in the comments below what you're stitching on and thank you so much for everyone that comments and all the love and support that you guys share with me and my channel as I'm, I'm starting out my floss tube. I appreciate all the love and support that you guys show me as well. Um, you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the exciting Halloween episode that I'll have next in a couple weeks. So I hope you guys have a blessed week and happy stitching. Hey, also... Make sure you check out my Instagram where I post in between my floss videos so you'll get a little more insight of what's going on between the weeks of when I post.